Welcome to ProCAD's isometric software. Let's do a quick demo. Double click the isometric icon to start the software. In the Drawing Manager dialog box, select the standard to use. For this demo, we'll use the Twin Lakes project. Select a new icon, enter a file name, double click the file name to open the drawing. On the left, you will see the isometric toolbar, and on the lower left, the active settings. Let's begin by inserting a border. Select the Utility tab and the border icon. Click the default size and then enter the data for the project. This data can be updated at any time during the drawing session or future drawing sessions. When all the data is input, click OK to accept. Now let's insert a north arrow. Select the miscellaneous tab and the north arrow icon. Pick the appropriate north arrow. Select OK, and then pick a location in the upper left corner of the board. Next, we'll set the isometric plane. We'll also set our line number to match our project. Now we can place some equipment. Let's place a vertical vessel. Pick the center point and the diameter of the vessel. Next, we'll add a nozzle. Pick the direction of the nozzle. With the nozzle projection, put in a value. Before placing more piping components, let's look at the auto route feature. We will enable it. This greatly reduces the drafting time as it helps automate the component placement. Now we can place some piping components. Pick the tool, select the insertion point, pick the midpoint of the existing nozzle, and then click the direction. Add a 90 degree elbow, change the direction, Add some pipe, add another 90 degree elbow, changing the direction, add a flange set, and then select a gate valve. Add a stem, pick the direction of the stem, and it inserts the complete valve set. Add some more pipe, add another elbow, changing the direction. Add some more pipe, add a reducer, you can change the size of the reduction or take the defaults, and then we'll finish off the run with a straight T, and we can pick the direction of the T. Click OK to accept the current direction. Now that we're done the ISO, let's disable the auto route and place a base support on the elbow. Let's reset our size to 2 inch and put in a base support. Select the center of the elbow and the direction we want the support to go. Before generating a bill of materials, we must add dimensions. Select the Utility tab and the ISO Dimension tool. Set the appropriate ISO plane and add the dimension. We'll start with the center of the vessel to the face of the flange. Be sure to use AutoCAD's object snaps to ensure accurate dimensioning. We'll then select to the corner of the elbow and the values are input automatically. You can change your isometric plane, select the other corner of the elbow at the bottom. When an unknown length of pipe is encountered, enter the overall length and isometric will calculate the cut length. Continue dimensioning adjusting the planes as you go. Dimension from face of flange to face of flange. An isometric will calculate the value for the valve. Continue dimensioning. We can generate our bill of material. Select the bill of material tab and the generate bill of material tool. Click next through the dialog boxes. Select cut length of the bill of material and click finish. The insertion point is the upper right corner of the border, and we'll add item balloons to match our bill of material. Select OK, and the program automatically zooms in so that you may place the item numbers. We can stack item balloons by selecting their quadrants. We'll finish off the item balloons and click OK. Let's zoom up on the bill of material, take a closer look. 
see all the items in the bill of material, as well as the cut lengths of pipe. Finally, save, and then exit. It's that easy.